Hey, hope you're well. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a time-lapse clip in DaVinci Resolve 19. And then after that, I'm going to go through a couple of issues that often trip up people trying to make clips in DaVinci Resolve 19. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you those two issues and I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot them. So stick around till the end. Okay, we're in DaVinci Resolve 19 now. And before I get into showing you how to assemble the clip, just want to draw your attention to this little gear wheel down here in the bottom right hand corner. If you just click this, this brings up your project settings. And typically you want to make sure that your timeline frame rate matches the approach you took to your time lapse in the field. So often you will shoot a time lapse with a certain number of frames per second in mind. So you just want to go in there and make sure that reflects whether you wanted your time lapse to be at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second or 60 or what have you. And so that's what you do and you just want to set that up first uh, just so you have that taken care of. I'm going to leave mine here at 24 frames per second so I'm just going to hit cancel and come back out. Now to create your time lapse clip you have to be in the media tab. So on the far left is your media tab. Just hit that. That brings you to your media storage screen and all that you need to do is go to the location on your hard drive where you have your files located, hit the specific folder. Now you'll see I have a image here with a file name and this shows, what this actually shows is a series of individual images numbered one to 328. So I have 328 sequentially numbered images in this specific folder and it's showing it as a single file here. So to add this to my media pool, all I have to do is click on it, control click if you're on a Mac, and I believe right click if you're on a PC, and then you just hit add into media pool. So now DaVinci Resolve has added that into my media. If I hit, if I go to the edit tab now, you can see it's in my timeline, and I can just add it in and just like that, I have a time-lapse clip created. Okay, as I mentioned in my intro, there are two common problems that come up when people are trying to assemble time-lapse clips in DaVinci Resolve that then leads to struggle. So I'm going to show you the two most common issues that you might face. The first is you come, you're in the media tab, you go to your folder where the time-lapse clip is located, you hit it, and it's not showing as a single clip. It's showing as all the files separately. So what do you do then? Super easy. On the top right-hand corner of your media storage area, you'll see three dots. Click on those three dots. Go to frame display mode, and then just hit sequence. That will bring all the images into that single time-lapse clips that you can then add into your timeline. Typically, what you'll see is people have it selected to auto and DaVinci Resolve should detect it as a sequence, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So uh, you can leave it on auto and that's fine, but if, if that issue ever comes up, just go in and make sure that you check uh, sequence and then, then you won't have that issue anymore. Okay, the second issue that often happens is the fact, the second problem that comes up is when people don't have their JPEGs or their TIFFs or their RAW files or whatever they're working with sequentially numbered. It has to be numbered in sequential order or it won't work. And um, the file name, the number actually has to be on the right side. So right next to your, your, your file, ex file type. So it has to be one over here. You can't have it, for example, I couldn't have done it as one underscore LRT, two underscore LRT, three underscore LRT. It will only detect it, or time lapse, DaVinci Resolve will only detect it as a sequence if that number is the last uh, num the last item in the actual file name. So just, if, if your files are not numbered like that, then you're gonna have to renumber it, whether through an app, or some sort of program, renumbering program, or manually just changing the file names. Unfortunately, uh, that's all you can really do. So um, 
Those are the two common problems when assembling DaVinci Resolve time-lapse clips. All right. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you got something out of this, would love a like on this video and maybe even leave a comment. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.